I'm Undersecretary Matt Quinn. At NCA, we encourage people to post tributes to our nation's heroes through our online Veterans Legacy Memorial. Randy Edwards was born in Manhattan in 1927, the only child of immigrants from the British West Indies. At 17, he enlisted in the Army Air Forces and became an aviation cadet with the Tuskegee Airmen in 1945. His flight training was interrupted as World War II concluded. So he became a reservist and moved to California. He toured the West Coast performing in theaters before moving back to New York to pursue his education, but was recalled for military service. With the newly created Air Force, he served in the Air Police Squadron in his home state, then with the Air Force Honor Guard in Virginia. He returned to civilian life and in 1954 got married and began his 27-year career in law enforcement. After retiring from the New York Police Department in 1980, Randy and his wife moved to Europe where he worked as a travel photographer. They returned to the U.S. in 1996. Randy died of natural causes in 2017 at the age of 90. As his headstone at Fort Logan National Cemetery in Colorado notes, he lived life to the fullest. Please join me in honoring aviation cadet and airman third class Randolph F. Edwards, a Tuskegee Airman, a career law enforcement officer, and an American hero. Honoring our veterans keeps their legacies alive. Please visit our online Veterans Legacy Memorial at the web address listed with this post. There you can honor any veteran resting in one of our 155 VA National Cemeteries or in more than 90 state, territorial, and tribal veteran cemeteries. Thank you for helping preserve the memories of all who have served.